in my opinion, the, the, the main legacy of, of 9-11 uh, on China is the framing uh, by the Chinese state of modern and contemporary uh, ethnic related conflict in Xinjiang as a terrorism problem, as China's front in the global war on terror and everything that has come uh, with this. Um, such framing has been the basis for the emergence of China over the past uh, 20 years as an active uh, counter-terrorist actor at the domestic, uh, regional and international levels. Um, right after 9-11, you could say that Chinese leaders um, seized somehow the chance as an opportunity to legitimize uh, internationally their crackdown on Uyghurs in Xinjiang, which had escalated during the 90s. Uh, somehow China's reaction to 9-11, to and here we see an element uh, that certainly affected its relationship with the US, was, well, hey, we also have terrorists here, but if you want our support, we require that these terrorists, our terrorists, become part and parcel on the global war on terror. And because the US needed that actual support, that, that somehow paved the way for an improving in, in the bilateral relationship, China-US relationships. But when it comes to Xinjiang, I would argue that actually it's the events of 2009 uh, which are more significant in the recent development of Chinese policy towards uh, Xinjiang and that was the you know the out big outbreak of, of violence in July uh, that year uh, with mass um, mass violence and rioting uh, in in Urumqi you know sparked by an incident in Guangdong province not by something that happened initially in Xinjiang but obviously reflecting some deep roots of you know problematic ethnic relations uh, and and a, a, a difficult security environment in that part of China. And I would argue that that's the, the, the dynamic that sort of shaped rethinking of Chinese policy in a number of areas from you know, ethnic minorities, as the, the discussion of the second generation of ethnic minority policies, a more assimilationist approach towards ethnic minorities after that period. And certainly in the in the early years of the 2010s, we did see quite a lot of, of, of violence, including indiscriminate uh, attacks, not just in Xinjiang, but most notably in Kunming in 2014. Um, I think things that you know justifiably can be characterized as, as terrorism, as the use of violence with some sort of political motivation uh, behind them. Um, China's Taiwan policy is a derivative um, or response, a direct response on what America have chosen to do. Now, another very interesting element which has been developed on the 1st of July this year, during the time of the Chinese Communist Party celebrated its centenary, that presidency clearly indicated that for China, in order to complete this second centenary's goal by 2049, and China will become more than rich, prosperous countries, and that would also include unified countries. So this almost gives you a sense of de facto um, timeline and that perhaps by the time of 2049 and the Taiwan situation will probably have a significant changes. So keep your eyes on that space and keep that mind and the timelines in mind.